What's up guys? In today's video, we're going to be talking about useless perks that I don't see normally anybody using, or in my opinion, they're just not that great. First off, if you're brand new, hit that subscribe. We do a lot of Texas video here. And if you want to see the victim side of useless perks, don't forget to drop a thumbs up. First off, I want to mention that the devs have been doing a great job. It feels like they're putting a patch every week or every two weeks, which is great. So we actually have a patch out today, and I hope that sometime this week, they're going to surprise us with two things. One, future DLC coming up soon and the stun resistance to Leatherface and all family members. Yes, I do feel like a lot of these changes have been more family sided. One thing I do hope is that they actually start talking about Johnny's swing tech and the next the cook spamming his uh, reveal ability. I think there needs to be a timer to it, meaning that once you reveal them, it's like for eight to 10 seconds and then you can't stack them. You have to wait for a certain time or something i'm on the lines of it because i do agree on the victim side it's just quite annoying i get why people do it on the family because i do it you're just trying to earn some points so either they can reduce the points or just somehow reduce the stacking and always hearing the cook laughing if somehow they just got rid of it for the family where the cook is not just hearing a laugh over and over i think it would be fine so in today's video we have a lot of perks that we need to talk about first off we're going to be talking about unique perks where's my notes yeah let's start off with it doesn't make sense devs why does cook have two unique perks leatherface five hitchhiker two johnny one and sissy four there needs to be some kind of consistency with these because it doesn't make sense yeah especially for my boy johnny one i think sissy's unique perks are all great great job on them i think one or two are getting changed for this patch coming up I, I don't i'm not sure but let's start with johnny's yeah only one called patience standing still will reduce your ability consumption rate by 20 percent let's be real it's not great what they can do is change it and give him one more unique perk what would i change on this perk when hitting a victim their blood is more vibrant meaning that you can see it once it's dripping so this would be a good perk to run with serrated because there is a character named Julie that actually counters him. And one way to always catch him is making their blood pools on the floor bigger and more vibrant. This could be great because that means you don't have to use your ability as much and also save it for more close encounters like where you're like, OK, where does she go? Because if you think about it, there is a perk on the victim side where you get rid of your blood puddles. So it's not like they can't counter this unique perk. They could because there's a lot of <laughs> victim perks that counter families. So this would be great changing it where every time you hit them, the blood puddle is bigger and more vibrant. Now, the next perk I made up is called knock it down, where anytime Johnny kicks a crawl space, it jams it until you open it. So if you don't have high strength, this is going to be a big problem for you. This is for like those people that are cocky and they're like spamming all of them open. If Johnny kicks this with his unique perk, yeah, it's going to be jammed for a while. I think this could be great in certain situations like in Family House when they're all just like opening them all fast. If you have prep time and you kick these, it's going to be like a really what the fuck type of moment for the victims. They're like, oh my God, I can't open this unless you have high strength. Now, Cook does have two unique perks, but one of them I just don't like and that spotting a victim increases your stamina recharge by 20% for five seconds. Let's be real. You're going to be standing still revealing them. So your stamina is always going to come back faster. What they can do is give them a speed boost for a percentage seconds. You can leave it at level one, five seconds. You're just a little bit faster. 30 uh, second, 10 seconds. You're a little bit faster. 15, 15 seconds being a speedy cook is scary. And yes, it would stack with scouts. They would have to actually test this. To the, to the point where it's not broken but it would just be nice to make a build like a speedy cook just running around just like with this, the way he runs i just want to see it happen so please change it where he gets a speed boost for a certain amount of seconds next up is leatherface's unique perks don't forget timestamps in the description box if you want to skip this is going to be leatherface's unique perks and he has five of them and to be honest i think he takes the cake of one of the worst ones in the game so let's start off with the first one, Mastery Key. You can instantly burst through a latch door five times. Now, there is a Savagery perk that we do need to talk about that also does the same thing, kind of, but it doesn't make sense. And here's why. For the family, they have Battering Ram. So every time you 
burst to a door. It's 80% stronger. Why don't they switch this for the family? Because this could be more useful for the family. The fact that they can break through doors. Now, there is a grandpa perk that's like that. But let's be real. That perk is just not that great for grandpa. We're going to probably do a grandpa perk addition later down the line. Because that's just not really important. Grandpa perks are just not useful right now. Because everybody just speeds rush. And I don't know. There's like only one or two, three good ones, to be honest. But anyways, change it to where the family gets the mastery key. Because this could be more useful. Now, they would have to change it to the level three to three. Because you think about it. If multiple family runs that, it could be a little bit crazy. So at level one, you get one. Level two, you get two. Level three, you get three. Now, what do you change for Leatherface? Now, I've been talking to a lot of people and they like this idea. So I will make up a new perk called Head Table. What does Head Table do? After holding a overhead charge in the air as Leatherface, you could break any table instantly. This would be great. This would help out with so much pressure. Yes, it would have charges as well. So at level three, you get to break five tables instantly like overhead and just running this can scare a lot of people now what happens if a victim is going over it it won't work they have to be fully on the other side so it would just nothing would happen if you do that so you have to wait for them to be on the other side to fully break it if you're in mid chase so it, again it's a very gutsy call so if they want to camp it i mean if they camp it you can want you can one shot them down them right there so this would be a scary perk for leatherface and it will also change him up a bit a lot less yeah probably one of the worst ones in the game for him so Leatherface does 30 percent more damage after executing a victim for the gallows so if you don't know what that is it's basically hooking somebody on the hook and yeah it hardly ever happens because it takes a lot of time and it's just not worth it what we can do is make this perk really fun whenever Leatherface is in a sprinting mode overheading a door will break it instantly and yes it's just like the table but again i think a lot of players would just appreciate that leatherface isn't being stopped by a freaking door you want to make him powerful and fun could you put charges on this at level three yeah you could put like maybe five charges he can only do it a certain amount of time i wouldn't make it where he's like instantly kool-aid man where he could just go through the door and then one shot you because that would just be stupid op while sprinting yeah that just sounds too strong in my opinion so either he has to swing at a door that it breaks it instantly or he has to overhead the door. The one perk that is actually pretty decent and it's OK, I wouldn't change it, is two cycle charge while revving your chainsaw. You're you're gaining your stamina back 60 percent faster. I think it's OK. You know, it is what it is. Stamina is not really huge on the other face, so it's an OK perk. I wouldn't change that. Bringing home the bacon, carrying a victim highlights the other face to all family members for 30 seconds while on paper it sounds good in game it's pretty useless because we already talked about why carrying somebody to the gallows is just not that great so here is how i would change the perk when feeding grandpa he's excited because you're bringing home the bacon so what he gives you is double the scream at the time so after his first scream you're gonna get rewarded with another one instantly which can be great because there's times where like you want to feed grandpa, but you can't. You have to wait for him to scream and then you have to wait for a certain time. So this rewards the player, especially for Leatherface people that don't feed. If you feed grandpa, you get rewarded with two screams at level three. At level two, at level one, I'm not sure what it would do, but I think at level three, it would just be great to have like that double scream because that puts a lot of pressure on victims where they're like, what the hell? Like we just got a grandpa scream. Now we're getting another one instantly. This could be great. And it would just put a lot of pressure on the victims. Now, the last one we have to talk about is Rough Cut. I think it's a pretty decent perk, but the only problem is that it doesn't work for overhead, meaning that with the one shot move, it does not activate with the overhead move. It only works for swings, which it doesn't tell you. So they need to change it to either say swings or add the overhead. And that's basically that's all I have. I think it's an OK perk, but yeah, I think uh, 10 seconds at level three would be better, in my opinion. Next up, we're going to be talking about endurance perks. First off, let's check out <laughs> Chicken Whisper. Not a great perk. Chickens won't make any noise unless you're very close to them. Chicken's detection radius is reduced by 50%. Well, whatever. The final one. And, and then the last one, they make no noise. This is just not a good perk. Okay. This is how you make it good. Whenever a victim stabs a chicken, they are slowed down. And they are also revealed to the family. 
So this is just basically Nugget's Revenge. That's what I would call it. I would call it Nugget's Revenge. This would be a good perk in my opinion. Special Blend is a weird perk because it only works for Sissy, which I don't like perks like that because I think she's the only one that has like a perk where if you work with your teammate, you get like a certain advantage. So here's how I would change it up. The way I see this perk is that if a teammate is nearby you, you are boosting up their recovery of their stamina. So if they're low on it, you are basically helping them out by just being next to them. Kind of think of it as a Lucio from Overwatch when he speed boosts his teammates. You can, if you want to do speed boosts, you could do that for that as well. But personally, if you're low on stamina and your support player has this, it recovers your stamina a short amount of time. Not a lot, because they would just be OP as hell, obviously. But if you and your teammate are chasing one person and your teammate has low stamina, like because they didn't put anything on it, this will help them out a lot because you're being a support player. Obviously, this perk is kind of useless because especially when Sissy gets changed or nerfed, whatever, I don't think anybody's ever going to touch this perk. After turning on a generator, it takes 15 seconds longer than usual for victims to disable it. First off, 15 seconds ain't nothing for the victims. Let's be real. But what I would do to change it, since we don't have to turn on the generator anymore since Tess, is that I would change this name to Automatic Mechanic, meaning that once the generator is turned off at level three, you don't need to turn it on. It would do it automatically for you. And at level one and level two, it's reduced the time, meaning a family member will have to turn it on by themselves, not automatically. So say for instance, two teammates are running Automatic Mechanic and they both have level one and level two or whatever. Does it stack? No, it overrides whoever has the highest. And let's say the third one has the automatic level three. It's automatically just going to take level three and you could continue on. That's how I would change this perk because it would actually be really useful. And it would also help out those people that just want to wait at the exit just to teabag you. But if you have automatic mechanic, it's going to screw them up because they're like, oh, crap, I'm locked in here. And they cannot touch the generator for a certain amount of time, like a minute or something like that, or 30 seconds where they can't kick it again. Next up, I smell blood. Now, personally, I think I only got value out of this maybe like the first day when um, the game came out. I did rock this and I did notice a difference. Like, I think I was playing Johnny and I think I got this to like level two. And I, I think what it does is just it helps you stay focused, meaning that you see the outline of them. I still don't get this perk. I probably should have tested it before I make this video, but seeing that nobody uses it just tells me it's not good so change it i smell blood maybe you could change it to where where i had that idea where you know johnny can see the blood better maybe change it to that as well i don't know this perk just doesn't seem very useful or what they can do right is changes to a harvesting perk and since it's called i smell blood it leads you to the the buckets that have the most blood so it will highlight yellow for you like oh my god like that that bucket over there has more blood than this one so it always highlights the ones that are full and last but not least the worst endurance perk in my opinion insulated booby trap lambs do not stun you and then at level two booby trap lambs stun you for a setting pipe like the stun is not even that long even with somebody having a level three perk of the victim side I got stunned by level three and I noticed a little bit difference because I was like, oh, I'm actually kind of stunned for a little bit longer. This perk needs to change. At level one and level two, the lamp that is turned on will be revealed to you. And at level three, it shocks the victim. It doesn't stun them, it just shocks them and you see their aura for a certain amount of time. This would be great because this would be useful on maps like the family house. Because again, it's very situational. I don't see this perk being used on other maps, but you never know. People mostly turn on lights in the family house compared to the other ones, but I can see this being more useful if they just made it to our level three. It somehow revealed a victim. Now for the savagery, I think all of them, mostly all of them are pretty useful except for one or two. We already talked about barging the door one earlier with Letterface, but the only one that I find pretty useless for the savagery is rubber boots. It needs to be a little bit better. And here's what I would do. At level three, and again, I'm talking about level three, the one and two could be whatever, but at level three, here's what I would do. 
either gave him a huge speed boost because of electricity you know it's like you're you're being shocked so you're way faster to catch to them or give him a one shot yeah why not why the hell not since all the victims do behind a electric whatever floor fence whatever is teabagging so this would be a big f you to them if they don't leave again i'm leaning towards more of a huge speed boost in a way of uh, just catching them off guard but this could be insane again but i just don't see this perk being useful to be honest i kind of just want it to be removed and just have another idea because i just don't see this being as useful as as much as i want it to be because again the only time you're going to catch them with this is if like one in a million somebody is just like waiting for you there which sometimes it does happen but even if you pass the the electric thing they have a limited stamina because they just spam the space bar just to get out of your way and go to the exit it needs to be more terrifying in my opinion if you want some value out of it but yeah i think mostly all the savagery perks are great sarah raid is one of my top favorite pharaoh's great again shout out to the devs for doing a good job on mostly on the savagery but we're gonna go to another section the harvesting one and that needs a lot of work for a few of them rage successfully hitting a victim will fill your ability bar by 15 percent that's terrible okay 15 percent is like a smidge so either bump up this to like 30 percent or 50 percent but personally i don't even see it being used if it was 30 or even 50 percent especially on somebody like cook because it feels that you can always get your ability recharged faster especially in his level tree whatever there is one ability that you can get it back faster so it doesn't make sense in my opinion so what can we do for rage being stunned by a victim takes a portion of their health and also adds to your blood pool which can be great because this works for people that just hate getting stunned a lot so if you're getting stunned a lot rock this one out and you're taking a small portion of their health but mostly you're getting a lot of blood back in return now i do like the idea of dracula but i just think the numbers are a little bit bad because it says winning a close encounter gives you 70 percent more blood again i'm not good with percentages so i'm not how much is that compared to while losing a close encounter gives you 40 blood i think this perk is okay the problem with it is that families don't win a lot of fights and if you think about it if you win a fight you're getting blood either way you're still getting a good amount of blood mostly like 90 to 100 blood when you kill somebody so i just don't find this perk to be good it's more of like eh, like i would put it like a c or d tier that's just my opinion now last one warmed up I would change this perk entirely because after winning or losing or close encounter gives you 40% ability charge. Again, it doesn't seem that great because in their level trees, there's always something that recharges it faster. So it seems kind of useless. So let me explain the perk. So if they encap grandpa and if you have a minimum of 100 blood and you lost four levels, guess what? It did not work because this perk activated. So you're basically waking up grandpa and recovering what you lost and all you need is a minimum of 100 blood at level two you need 150 and at level one you need 200 so it's a big the big chunk but yeah that is today's video thank you guys so much i'm interested to see what do you think about my ideas and also interested to see your ideas please leave some comment downs below of your perk ideas and i'm sure that one of them will happen maybe one day Perks are meant to be fun, and I love doing different builds. I do hope that the devs are looking into the whole respecting thing because it can get kind of annoying just to try to get one perk and you spend so much time getting it. I do think eventually the tree, the skill tree will be looked at eventually and down the line, but right now it's fine. But a lot of perks, especially on family, just don't seem useful in my opinion. So hopefully some of them do get changed. But again, if you're brand new, hit that subscribe. If you did like today's video, don't forget to leave a like. And again, leave your comment down below. Anyways, guys, make sure to check out my other videos. Have a great night, and I'll see you next time.